So, how can you help me? How do you assist me as the authority if that dog had been presented at your surgery? So, first of all, please do report if, if you are suspicious. Because if you are suspicious and on investigation, we find that there is no reason for your suspicions, we absolutely would take no further action. We absolutely understand that even if we take that animal and it's an illegally imported dog, but there's no welfare concerns, your client 90%, 99% of the time will not have been the importer. Your client will be the victim of crime and the local authority will treat them as such. And we explain to them, we go at lengths to explain to them that actually the puppy, the vet has, a, has an obligation for public and human health risks to report this to us. And we would hope that once the puppy comes out of quarantine, you continue to form your relationship with them. So yes, there are times when it goes wrong, Obviously, your client is going to be incredibly upset when you first raise it with them. You will phone me and say, I've seen this. If it's an end user, i.e. it's the puppy buyer and your, your client seems reasonable, I will often say, please speak to them, you know, and hopefully we can resolve it in a amicable way. Occasionally, with anybody, when people get upset, they get violent. But we have ways of dealing with this. I would ask you that where we get cases that we are going to take forward to court, like the one with the German Shepherd there, please do, if you're willing to report it, please do be willing to provide me with a witness statement if I ever need it. Because we often don't get cases to court because people don't want to provide us with witness statements. Um, and you will become a key witness in our evidence. Um, Please photocopy everything and microchip read those dogs. I need those details as evidence because um, when, you're, when the dog is with you and the client, you start to raise concerns. Quite often they might get upset, they grab the dog, they grab the documents, they run away and we've lost the evidence forever. But if at the beginning of the consultation, when your new puppy comes and they present documentation and it's a passport, please just photocopy it record that chip number, and then we've got evidence when it all goes wrong. And please just be willing to provide us with as much information as possible. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but it is so frustrating for us as enforcement officers when we get a telephone call from a vet who says, I've seen this dog, it's six to eight weeks old, it's got a Bulgarian or a Romanian microchip, it's got no passport uh, and I need to report it to you as a suspect illegal import. We say, absolutely fine. So we start taking down the details and we get to the point where they say, um, can I have the name and the address? And they go, oh, well, no, we can't do that because that's data protection. Okay, um, let's have a look at data protection. So